another Nintendo Direct has finished. And it looks like this will be the last Direct before the Nintendo Switch 2 is announced. So I thought it'd be fun to take a look at the top 5 announcements of the February 2024 Nintendo Direct. Queen at number 5, we're starting off with a banger, it's Shin Megami Tensei 5. Now, Shin Megami Tensei 5 Vengeance. Shin Megami Tensei 5 was actually the first Shin Megami Tensei game I ever completed. Not the first one I played, the first one I played was Shin Megami Tensei's Strange Journey on the Nintendo DS, not the remake that came shortly after. It's actually, I have it over here. Anyways, this is the first one I played and it was it was practically given to me by a good pal of mine. Well, he sold it to me for a fiver, it was practically given it away and he knew that. Let's put it back. But yeah, Shin Megami Tensei is a fantastic series and I'm so glad we're getting a, a vengeance version of the game similar to what Apocalypse was to Shin Megami Tensei 4. So I'm really looking forward to playing this as soon as those pre-orders are up and getting it straight away. It's, just, it's a shame there's no announcement of a special edition, but maybe that will come a bit later on. Who knows? At number four, we have a new Super Monkey Ball game. Now, when Super Monkey Ball first launched on the Nintendo GameCube all those years ago, for the longest time, because it was on the, I think, it, I swear it was on the GBA, and over a fact it was on the Nintendo DS, and then the 3DS, and a bunch of consoles, including the Wii, it was fantastic on the Wii, I genuinely thought it was a Nintendo property being published by Sega in some weird way. Um, and it does, if you look at the imagery, the, the, the designs, it looks very much like a Nintendo game. It drips of Nintendo-ness. So it's a fantastic series that I recommend every single one of you play. And this is a great opportunity to do it. I'm going to be buying the game at launch. I think it'd be a great game to play with my son and my niece. Now, at number three, this is actually a game I bought for on the Nintendo 3DS eShop just as it was just as it was closing down because I didn't want to miss out on the game forever. That game is Pocket Card Jockey Ride. It's a bit, it's a, it's a horse solitaire game made by Game Freak. And take my word for it when I say this is one of the best video games Game Freak has done in the last fifteen years. And that is including, you know, like there's been so many, it's pretty much, I know there is a Pokemon company, but Game Freak is the Pokemon company. But this solitaire, that title is a bit of a tongue twister. The game is bloody amazing and you all need to play it. It's an absolutely fantastic game. I'm so glad it's getting re-released and sort of with a new polish on it to bring it into a modern system. I know a lot of you don't consider the Nintendo Switch to be a modern system anymore and to be Quite frank, never do I. But it is a modern system. It's such an amazing game. Please, you all need to play it. You're gonna have so much fun. At number two, we got Monster Hunter Stories, a fantastic video game, and no and another one that I thought was gonna be locked to Nintendo 3DS. Tomorrow, I think about it. <clears throat> Nintendo Switch is literally the remaster machine, isn't it? All games get remastered for the Nintendo Switch. So I actually bought this game on the 3DS twice, you know, I got one to play and one, I just, it was so cheap, I think it cost like £5 and it was sealed, so I just kept it sealed. And it's a fantastic video game series, there's a sequel on the on the, uh, on the Nintendo Switch 2 uh, called Monster Hunter Stories 2, obviously. And it was good enough to have a half decent anime released in direct reference to what the game was and what it stands for. Absolutely fantastic game. I don't want to say too much, I don't want to ruin it for you, but it's definitely one you should all go in blind in and just play. It's an absolute masterpiece. and It's one of the greatest games on the Nintendo Switch, if I don't say so myself. The second one, not the first one, but the, the first one is bloody amazing. You know what, you just need to play the whole damn series. And at number one, I didn't grow up with Rare. Um, I didn't play a lot of Rare games growing up because I just didn't. The first Rare game I ever played was Star Fox Adventures on the GameCube, which by all, you know, if you listen to the fan base, people generally don't like that game. I love it. No, Star Fox Adventures was an amazing game. It's the only Rare game I've really played to date. I know I've played some others, but I can't really think of what they were off the top of my head. <coughs> I think Star Fox. And uh, Star Fox 2 were rare games, I'm not 100% sure. But um, don't blame me, I, was a, I wasn't a Nintendo kid growing up. I was, say, I was a Sega kid. 
Um, anyway, so I'm looking forward to playing those classic rare games, like that frog one. What's it called now? Uh, Battletoads. Um, but yeah, uh, don't blame me for not playing any rare games growing up. I was a Sega kid. Anyway, it was a great direct. But not the best, and I do feel that Nintendo are holding back a lot of what they plan to release for a future announcement for the Nintendo Switch 2. We are clearly in the back alley of Switch games, you know, it's just crap. You know, not not bad games, but just second-rate games. It's, it's a hard one to describe, you know, you've got, you got your Super Mario, and then you've got your... Uh, ukulele yeah Ugh. um but yeah it was a great game it was there's still some there's still there's a great direct there's still some games that we don't even have release dates for like paper mario thousand year door and luigi's mansion 2 which are currently uh, due to be remastered uh, everything gets remastered on the switch remastered later on this year but we don't have any, any concrete dates for those um, if I were to give a rating for this uh, for this direct out of five, it would be a three out of five. You know, it was great. It was good. I enjoyed it. It wasn't amazing and it wasn't perfect either. Um, I'm hoping to do these kind of videos again in the future where I sort of do my best bits of a direct. Um, or put even a Pokemon present as well as doing a full reaction, which you can also find on my channel. So depending on how well this video does, I might do more in the future. Well, I hope you enjoyed watching. Uh, remember to like, comment and subscribe. Thank you. Bye.